Here, take this dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune, he'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies. They're shy and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. Use your L1 button to switch back and forth between fire and bubble breath. Tap your L button to switch back and forth between fire and bubble breath. Spyro, the magic of this sacred rune will bestow upon you the power of bubble breath. Spyro, the magic of this sacred rune will grant you the power of electric breath. Spyro, the magic of this sacred rune will grant you the power of wing shield. Spyro, the magic of this sacred rune will bestow upon you the power of ice breath. Hey Spyro, you know if you press the X button to jump, then press the X button again in midair, you can glide. Try using your glide to follow me. Hey Spyro, you know if you press the A button to jump, then press the A button again in midair, you can glide. Try using your glide to follow me. Way to go, Spyro. I think I see something shiny on that ledge over there. You can get there by hovering. To hover, press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Way to go, Spyro. I think I see something shiny on that ledge over there. You can get there by hovering. To hover, press the Y button at the end of your glide. Nice work, Spyro! And check this out. I found a dragonfly. Here, why don't you take it? Hey, it's Bubbles! Spyro, something has happened in the dragonfly dojo and my magic isn't working. I'm sure the magic from the dragonflies could help move this stone and bring you to the dojo. Good work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro, find the dragonflies before Ripto. I didn't mean to tip all those cows, but a bright light appeared, and then a UFO grabbed me, and whoosh, I ended up here. I bet with more dragonflies you could get this UFO to work. Wow, that's a lot of dragonflies, Spyro. You should have no problem getting this here UFO to work now. Hop aboard, but beware. The space cows, they're everywhere, everywhere. Boy, am I glad to see you. You might be able to get this boat to work if you had enough dragonflies. But there's savages on that island. Savages, I tell you. Yay! You got enough dragonflies to get the boat up and running. Hop aboard. Spyro, I was dreaming of a genie that turned into a nightmare when these horrible Riptox kicked me out of my bed and threw me down this swirly thingy. Maybe the magic of dragonflies will help activate it. Hooray! You did it! The swirly thingy is working. Step right in and it will take you up, up to the clouds. Try not to get dizzy. I did and almost lost my ham and sheep sandwich. Ha! Sheep? Did I say that? Spyro, there's a hole in my balloon and I don't have enough magic to make it fly again. Perhaps if you found some more dragonflies, I'm sure you'd be able to get the balloon working. Great job, young dragon. That should be enough to get my balloon working. Hop aboard. Hello, Spyro. You need to collect more of those them air bugs, and I should have this honeycomb raft working like a charm. Well, that should do it, Spyro. Hop aboard the raft and get ready for the honey moss rapids. You're gonna need to steal a lot more dragonflies before I let you on my magic carpet. Not just anyone gets to ride on it. You did it! Wow! You're even shiftier than me! That's enough magic to make this carpet fly up and away! Hop aboard! I was working on a fantastic new experiment, but I suddenly disappeared from my laboratory. If you find some more of these dragonflies, I bet their magic could get this contraption working again. Hooray! You did it! My contraption is working! Step right in and it will transport you somewhere really cool. At least, I think it will. <laughs> That sounds easy enough, but what's the challenge? What do I have to do? Baby, 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 baby,
<laughs> activated? How do I activate the portal? I don't see any switches or power buttons. Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. So, where exactly do I find these butterfly sparks? Okay, so what's the challenge this time? Oh yeah, you'd think I'd remember that by now. have frozen all the Dragon Masters. You're going to have to use your flame breath to melt the ice and find out what happened here. Ah, Spyro. Thank goodness you had the sense to free me from that icy cage. Who would have thought the Riptox would dare invade the sacred Dragonfly Dojo? Spyro, do what you can to return the Dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the Dragon Masters. Remember, Spyro, the way of the Dragon is to be a Dragon. <laughs> Spyro-san, I'm sorry the dojo is in such a state for your visit. It's usually a haven of tranquility. It is here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. Spyro, my kite got stuck up in the tree! Could you get my kite out of the tree for me, Spyro? 
I can't reach it because there's nothing here to stand on. Just me. Thanks for getting my kite down, Spyro. My buddies RJ and Dougie are flying their kites today, too. Have you seen them, Spyro? You are a dragon wise beyond your years. May the dragon spirits guide you on your way. Ah, Spyro. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. It's quite a long way down, Spyro. I just wonder how long an elder dragon can sit in a frozen solid ice block. The suspense is terrible. I hope it will last. Come back when you've collected more gems, Spyro. In the meanwhile, back to my haiku poem. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Refreshing money falls from your pocket, lands in my pocket. Ah, oh, that's nice. Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. Look, Spyro, even I know some magic when properly motivated. Good work, Spyro-san. Those rip talks don't seem to be much of a challenge for you. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a dragon sensei. It could be your density. I mean, your destiny. Now, I will open that gate. That, it appears, is my density. I mean, destiny, Spyro. I've been trying to climb this bonsai tree all day. There's something shiny up there and I just know it's the kite I lost last summer. Can you save my kite, Mr. Spyro? That tree is so hard to climb. Maybe there's another way to reach the kite. Oh, it sure is hot out here. Thanks so much, Mr. Spyro. I've been looking for this kite all summer. You should go see Dougie and Rusty, Mr. Spyro. They're my friends, and they like to play with kites, too. You have done well, little dragon. Freeing the dragon senses took much courage. I think this baby dragonfly will be safe with you. Hey, it's Roxy! Remember, Spyro, find and return the remaining baby dragonflies. They are the fortune of the dragon realms. Spyro, you're just in time to help me! RJ and Rusty were playing with my kite, and Riptox came by, kicked sand in my face, and threw it up in the tree! I hate the taste of sand. If I could breathe ice like a big bad dragon, Maybe I could get my kite down. <sighs> that was cold. But you saved my kite, so I guess I should thank you. Look, Spyro, look what came out of the tree when you saved my kite. A baby dragonfly. <gasps> hey, it flew away. Hey, it's Mooney. A dragon without a dragonfly is like peanut butter without jelly. No, that's not quite right. <laughs> I think grasshoppers are fun to play with, don't you? Hi, Spyro. If you see Jackie, tell him that I just thunk up a good game we can play with grasshoppers. Oh, don't tell Steffi, though. I don't think she'd like it. It's called Hopper's Flat. <laughs> Sounds fun, huh? You did a great job saving the Dragon Master, Spyro. Hey, it's Steffi. Hey, it's Shellac. Hey, it's Cinder. Hey, it's Dawn. Hey, it's Cloudy. Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Now I've got a prize for you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks. But you'll have to figure out how to get past the gates. Would you like to do some target practice? Here's a hint. Wait until they shoot down a wall, then hit them fast while they're reloading. Oh no, they got you. But I bet you could clear them all out if you tried again. Welcome back, soldier. Looks like you're ready for some more target practice. Would you clear out the tank training arena? Well, that's too bad. But I'll have this tank ready for you when you change your mind. If you'd like, I can set up some more dummies for you. You gave up? What kind of soldier are you? Get your purple tail back on that horse and try again. Well done, Private. You're a clever dragon, ain't you? Smart enough to get the gates open and skillful enough to survive the tanks. As a reward, I'll let you have the dojo mascot. 
Hey, it's Cub. Hey, it's your Jimbo. Howdy, Spyro. Space Rip Talks have arrived from nowhere and have overrun the farm looking for dragonflies. Since they haven't been able to find any, they've been abducting cows and locking them inside the big barn. <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm next. Don't worry, I'll help you. You will? Golly, thanks. You just need to go round back and unlock the big red barn and rescue them cows. Please, Spyro, save my cows. Hey, you're Spyro, ain't you? Glad to meet you. Have you seen any of my cows? Where'd all the cows go? They was here when I woke up, and now it's like they all vanished into thin air. That seems kind of crazy, don't it? Hey, Spyro, glad you're here. The doors is jammed. I set some explosives, but don't have any matches. My mama always told me that I should never play with matches. Anyway, maybe you could help me with the light? If I only had something to light the fuse with. Hey there, Dragon. Thanks for helping out this here farm. Anytime, Farmer Bill. Here, take this thing in my jig. I was going to use it in my new smoker BBQ for flavor. What? What? Exactly. Hey, it's Cedric. Seems like if Bill was in the barn, he could have saved the cows himself, doesn't he? Yeah, it does. Oh, no, Spiber, the UFO that took the cows is back. It's going to steal my cows again. What can I do to help? We've set up some cannons just in case they come back, but we don't have any way to power them. Maybe you can help us power them with your lightning breath. Just make sure you activate the cannon when the UFO is nearby. Base cows. I can't stand them. Thanks for freeing the cows. You think you can go get them and move them back here? I think I'm still missing some cows. Way to go, Sparrow. We'll make a farmer out of you yet. By the way, while you were out looking for my cows, I found this here critter and I think it may belong to you. Hey, it's Fiona. It's the cheese. Hey, it's Akira. Hey, it's Mitnick. Hey, it's Laurent. Hey, it's Flavi. Hey, it's Testu. Spyro, I'm glad you're here. I just knew there was something suspicious about this farm. Space cows are everywhere, and now a big UFO is coming to abduct Farmer Dill's cows. There's a prototype tractor beam on this UFO that you can use to beam up the cows and put them into the corral. Hey, wait a minute. How does Farmer John have a UFO? You better hurry. Here it comes now. Don't let that nasty UFO get a single cow. Oh no, that pesky UFO got a cow. Don't forget, you can shoot the UFO to make it drop a cow. Try again. Think of the baby cows. Don't give up now. You were doing so well. Please save the cows. Will you try again? That was awesome, Spyro. You saved all the cows. By the way, I found this dragonfly hiding in the barn. Here you go. Hey, it's Jingles. Did you see that? Farmer Dill forgot to lock the gate and the cows got out. 
And it looks like there's more UFOs this time. Do you think you're up for another run? Watch out for the gold UFOs. Those mean little guys will shoot your eye out. Cool! You did it again! Please take my pet dragonfly as my thanks. Make sure to feed her lots of crickets. She just loves them. Hey, it's J-Dubs. Do you want to take a spin in the prototype UFO? Thanks again, Spyro. You can come back anytime you feel like taking the prototype UFO for a spin. I'm gonna hang out here and watch the skies for space cows. The truth is out there, Spyro. Spyro, boy, am I glad you came back. The cows got loose again, and that big UFO won't go away. Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype UFO? There's a space riptock holding that dragonfly hostage. If you activate all the platforms around the tower by jumping on them, it'll lower the tower down so you can rescue it. Attempt the trial of the platforms? Well, what do you know? For all your fancy gliding, you ain't such a wonder after all. I've seen better wings on flying pigs. Well, that's the spirit. Purple dragon sure has some spunk. Now, here's a dragonfly for you, son. Hey, it's Rickshaw. Come back anytime. Hey, Spyro, boy, am I glad to see you. What's going on around here? Those Riptox have decided to have a luau feast, and I just found out that we're the main course. Please save us, Spyro. The Riptox have locked us all up behind these cage doors. We're stuck here waiting for them to come back. I heard them whispering something about hot and spicy sauce. I'd love to help, but how am I going to get you out of there? Each cage is sealed and can only be opened by finding and activating a switch. Find each switch to open each cage. Activate that switch and I go free. I haven't found that switch yet. It's right there. What are you, blind? I thought dragons could see in the dark. Hurry! All you have to do is charge or flame the switch. You can do it, Spyro. Thank you so much, Spyro. I just couldn't have handled being eaten for dinner. No problem. I'll keep a nose out for your friends. I think I can smell them roasting off in the distance. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, how's it going? Not good, Spyro. I keep imagining myself slathered in barbecue sauce. It's not a comforting thought when you're supposed to be on vacation. Get me out of here. Please get me out of here. I heard a riptock talking about sausages. Sure. What can I do? Hey, there's a button on the cliff. All the way over there. I think there might be an underwater cave somewhere around here. Good thing you saved me. I swear I could hear the sausage grinder calling my name. No problem. Saving pigs on vacation is what I was born to do. You know, Spyro, it's tough being a talking animal. You take one step out of your backyard and your dinner on the table. Spyro, I heard you on the island, but I didn't believe it. You gotta help me. One of the Riptox keeps calling me Ham Sandwich and asking me if I'd go better with mustard and mayonnaise. You gotta get me out of here, Spyro. Whew! Thank goodness you got to me before the Riptox could. I suppose being a sandwich wouldn't be all bad, but I'd only want to be served on whole wheat. How about you? Good work, Spyro. You showed those Riptox they can't make a feast out of us. Say, could you do me a favor and get me out of this cage? Get me out of here. Hello, the gate's open. Huh? It is? Oh, well, what do you know, look at that. Silly me. Thanks for saving me. Hey, it's Dill. Thanks again, Spyro. That would have been bad news for those Riptox. I'm mostly fat myself, you see. Nothing but cholesterol. My front left hoof alone would clog an artery in under three seconds. Well, I guess they got lucky this time. Is that the right thing to say? <laughs> Hey, it's Scuttlebutt. Hey, it's Daisy. Hey, it's Socrates. Hey, it's Plato. Hey, it's Homer. Hey, it's Gary. Hello, Spyro. Unga, we Tiki getting ready for big Tiki tourist luau. Unga, we teach tourists how to play drums, Tiki di Tiki style. Tiki Tiki Unga boom. Ha 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 Tiki Lolo. Come now, me Tiki see Spyro has want to play drums before tourists get here. Unga. Go play! Unga! Good, good! Have fun! We Tiki will play, then Spyro plays same thing back. We take turns. 
<laughs> Don't worry, we Tiki start small, so you learn one note at a time. Uga! Pow! <laughs> Drums are placed like buttons on controller. The square button is for left drum. The circle button for right drum. The triangle button is for top drum. And the X button for bottom drum. Drums are placed like buttons on controller. The B button is for left drum, the X button for right drum, the Y button for top drum, and the A button for bottom drum. Ready? Here goes! <laughs> Spyro best drummer! Unga bonga hula ma ale e a a! Have prize for Spyro! Hey, it's Terrell! Unga Spyro, you big drumming champion! Welcome back, Spyro. You want for some more drum playing fun? Spyro good drummer already, but are you big drumming champion? Let's find out. <laughs> Spyro, that's wow. We Tiki knew you were big drumming champion. Please take this for reward. Hey, it's Maverick. Spyro best drummer ever. I have no more dragonflies, but drumming fun. Play more. Ooh, that's too bad. But you can drum anytime. Hey, Spyro, I was out here checking out my baby manta ray farm and those stupid rip talks have scared them all away. Let's race to see who can capture more of them before time runs out. Capture the baby manta rays? Aw, you didn't quite make it. Cowabunga, dude. You got all of them in time and they're safe and sound. Hey, it's Krishnamurti. Want to try capturing them again? All right, I'll see if I can calm them down until you come back. They seem to like the way I sing. Hey, Spyro! The Riptox have invaded our palace and sabotaged the machines powering our hourglass. Your electric breath would be perfect for powering the machines. No one around here can get any sleep. Can you help us? Are you making any progress powering the machines? That thief has stolen my magic wand, and I need it to activate the swirly to the next machine. Can you get it back for me? Have you managed to catch that thief yet? I really miss my wand. I got it at a 99 cent special, you know. Thanks, Spyro. Now I can power up the swirly. Are you making any progress powering the machines? These lightning clouds are electrifying the pools. Can you use your super flame breath to get rid of them? Use the portal to power up your flame breath and get it to work. There are still some clouds to get rid of, Spyro. Get back out there! Great job, Spyro! While you were taking care of the clouds, I found this flying thing stuck in one of them. He seems lost. Hey, it's Takahiro! Can you swim to the next machine? I'm too scared of the water. The pool looks great without all those mean clouds around. Maybe I will learn to swim. Thanks for the help, Spyro. Here's a dragonfly for you. Hey, it's Rick. Hey, it's Goose. Hey, it's Ice Boy. Hey, it's Margaret. Hey, it's Savino. Hey, it's Sylvia. Tashi Station. Hey, it's Grayson. The Puffy Palace is under attack. Please save us from the battleships. Defend the Puffy Palace? Those airships managed to destroy the palace. You'll have to act faster next time. Puffy Palace is safe once again. This dragonfly was taking shelter inside the palace. Here, you can have it. 
Hey, it's Tweedle. If you'd like to try shooting a few more battleships, I'm sure there's a few more out there. Okay, come back later if you can help us out. Those unbalanced Riptox have invaded our sacred monastery. Of course, we practice divine compassion, so we really can't get involved in anything violent. Spyro, I know you've heard that Yeti are scary monsters, but we are peaceful, which is why we live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox, and they've taken my kind and imprisoned them in the ice. Can you save the five Yeti with your flame breath? Thank you, Spyro. The Yeti will always welcome you with open arms. Hey, it's Jawwing. Greetings, young dragon. I believe the turret behind you could be a very useful weapon for you to use on your quest. We use it for our annual snowball war. Oh, it's quite an event. Although we are a non-violent people, we do have our vices. Perhaps you might want to glide over there and try it out. You may be a young dragon, Spyro, but you have the spirit of an elder. Help, Spyro! These flying Riptox are a menace! Ooh, I think they are guarding the Yetis trapped within the ice here. Can you use the turrets to help free them? Hey, man! Nice shot, Spyro! Those flying Riptox won't be bothering us again. Hello, Spyro. I made this rocket for a fireworks display, but I can't seem to light it. Please tell me, can you use your flame breath to light the fuse? Wow! That was more than I expected, but, uh, thanks. Cheerio, Spyro! That's a good dragon! Oh, I like the cold, but I don't like it that much. Those tricky Riptox caught me off guard, Spyro. Many thanks for your help. It's a good thing you came along when you did, dragon. Whoa, what happened? I feel like an ice lolly! Did those Riptox put me on ice? Ye gads! Thank you, Spyro! Oh, thank you, Spyro. We knew we could count on you. Once again, we can open the doors and let the dragon world into our sacred monastery. Hey, it's Foamy. Hey, it's Holly. Hey, it's Young. Hey, it's Gaku. Hey, it's Shadow. Hey, it's Damsel. Spyro, the Riptox have invaded our land and are constructing tort factories to destroy the monastery. Do you think you can destroy all the Riptop factories with the Spitfire plane? Destroy the Riptop turret factories? You're gonna have to do better than that if we want to stop the Riptox. Great job, Spyro. Here, I found this dragonfly in one of the factories. Why don't you take it? Hey, it's John. The Riptox just keep rebuilding their factories, so feel free to go destroy them anytime you like. Okay, come back later if you can help us out. Welcome to our ancient slide, Spyro. Get to the bottom before time runs out. Sliding between flags will give you more time. If you can make it to the bottom in time, I'll have a special prize for you. Ride the slide? The key to riding the slide is staying on the slide. Impressive, most impressive, but you are not a slider yet. <gasps> Very impressive slide work. Here, I found this dragonfly wandering around down here. Hey, it's cute. Would you like to try our peaceful slide again? Hey, it's Dancer. You can always come back to practice the slide if you like. We find it quite calming after a hard day of meditation. Okay, come back anytime. Welcome to Honey Marsh, Spyro. Them Riptop critters have messed this here place up, but good. <laughs> I tells you what, I'll make you a deal as sweet as honey. There are some honey stills draining all the honey from Honey Marsh. You help us get rid of them, and any of them there dragonflies you're going on about that you find along the way, you can keep. Just keep that between us now, you hear? Thanks for your help, Spyro. You're bothering me, son. I said quit bothering me. We got ourselves a problem here. Well, these here Riptox have set up shop in our trees. They're using them bees to launch attacks on us. If you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see my second cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some Riptox butt. Well, them beehives are pretty tough, 
So you're going to need to swallow those rocks and spit them out like watermelon seeds. <laughs> Want to try to extermify them bee critters again? My daddy always said, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. And you just about the toughest little fella I know. Good luck to you. I don't believe it. You did it. I told you I could handle it. I wasn't born in the back country, you know. Yeah, but I didn't think you could really do it. Now I owe Jimmy Bob five bucks. And you owe us one dragonfly. I sure enough do. Here you go. Hey, it's Lily. You did it. You saved us a whole mess of trouble by getting rid of them nasty critters. Glad I could be of service. Here's a dragonfly for you, little fella. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, it's Taka. Well, I was going to keep that dragonfly as a pet. But them critters are just more troubles than they're worth. Besides, they got them bug eyes, too. Mm, gives me the creeps. Yeah, tell me about it. Hi! Hey, it's Russell. Hey, it's Russell Tim. Hey, it's Tim. Hey, it's Duckweed. Hey, it's Suzuki. Hey, it's Swan. Hey, it's Gory. Welcome to Honey Marsh's Sticky Swamp Shootout. Us honey folk done love shooting stuff with our tank. We're giving away a dragonfly to anyone who can shoot down all them air targets. You think you're dragon enough to handle it? It's a blast. <laughs> Great. Make sure to shoot all the targets before your honeycomb boat gets to the end of the course or you'll lose. Shoot all the tanks, bees, and grenade riptox. Don't worry, they are highly trained and extremely well-paid professionals. Nobody will actually get hurt. Well, almost nobody. Great! Make sure to shoot all the bees before your honeycomb boat gets to the end of the course or you'll lose. Don't worry, they are highly trained and extremely well-paid professionals. Nobody will actually get hurt. Well, almost nobody. What? Is it too hard for you? Maybe you should start over from the start and uh, start again at the start. You'll have to try harder than that to clear the sugary sweet sticky swamp shootout, Spyro. Hmm, try saying that six times. Come on, give it another try. Awesome shooting, Spyro. You sure you ain't my fifth cousin? Congratulations, you win the grand prize! Well, maybe not that grand, but hey, it's awful pretty. Hey, it's Pliskin. We're all out of them dragonflies, but you can play the sticky swamp shootout again if you want. You know, for fun. You do know what fun is, don't you, Spiro? Okay then, come back when you're up to the challenge. Spyro, that darn BS one of the dragonflies. Can you chase him down the slide so we can get the dragonfly back? But be careful, he, he's got a stinger that'd whip my bad back right into shape. Too bad, Spyro, the bee managed to get away. They try catching him again. Good job, Spyro. With your help, we managed to stop that bee right in his tracks. He won't be bothering anyone anymore. I got the dragonfly from him, too. Here you be. Hey, it's Clubtail. Wanna practice riding down the honey slide again? Funny, that slide's not very sticky. This honey must be of a uniquely unsticky variety. Chase the bee again? Okay, come back anytime. The Riptock Wizards have turned our treasure into monsters. Can you do anything to help us? The wizards are invulnerable to our attacks. Maybe if you had a way to reflect the magic bolts back at them, you might be able to beat them. You know, if I could swim, I'd dive under that water and press the switch to open that door up there. Unfortunately, I forgot my water wings. Again. Say, maybe you can do it. Watch out for the pool cleaner. It's dangerous! Yeah, not bad. But if I had those water wings, I would have taken care of it myself. Hoo-hoo! I knew you were the right dragon for the job, Spyro! Thanks for your help, Spyro. Say, did you drop this? Hey, it's Mickey. Welp, if you drop any more of those little bugs around here, I'll be sure to send them your way. Hey, it's Racket. Hey, it's Marta. Hey, it's Martin. Hey, it's Charlotte. Hey, it's Jordan. 
Hey, it's Atsumi! The wizard Riptok has captured a dragonfly! Use your lightning breath to activate all the triggers and lower the wizard's tower. Enter the wizard's platform maze. Uh-oh! Those platforms can get really tricky! What skill! I can't believe you made it to the wizard! Hey, it's Morpheus! Wanna try the platform puzzle again? Come back anytime! Hey, it's Copper Top. Hey, it's Neo. Aha, Spyro! The R-1000 and the T-Rex 1000s have escaped from their inescapable cages and are running amok through the jungle. Please stop them before they destroy the rest of the science labs and all of our research. No problem. But say, what's a R-1000 something something? Oh, well, to put it in simplified terms that even a dragon can understand, they're mechanically enhanced nanotech proportion-oriented Riptox, which uh, we've been working on here in our labs. Uh, quite the state of the art, I might add. <laughs> but they're very edgy. Oh, really? And how exactly would I go about destroying these things? Well, we did find a flaw in the R-1000 models when they were uh, exposed to sub-zero temperatures. Perhaps that information will come in useful. I... No problem. I have just the right breath to chill them out. Great! On the other hand, the T-Rex 1000s are quite vulnerable to electricity. Yet we've not been able to get close enough to them to zap them with an electrical charge. Hmm, the cosine of pi multiplied by a star. Yes, 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 that's it! <laughs> Jim's still fresh, three days. They're following us! Hey, Spyro, I've been studying this temple, and it's quite fascinating. Oh, yeah? How so? Well, I believe that these strange drawings on the walls are a clue to something hidden away in this temple. But I can't quite decipher them yet. <laughs> yes, and from what I have been able to decipher, it seems that the gems on the statues inside react to heat. Perhaps you can figure out the rest, Spyro. All the elements are there. What, about, what am I missing? Let's see in Oxide for Speed. <laughs> Great job, Spyro! I see you solved the puzzle! I never realized dragons were so smart! It was easy as one, two, flame. Gosh darn it! Those blasted R-1000s destroyed my lab and ran off with my equipment! Um, hello? Oh, um, hey Spyro. Say, I, I don't suppose you could help me get my equipment back, could you? Oh yeah! Thanks a lot! Thanks for nothing. Great! Thanks, Spyro! Well, you, you, you see all those R-1000s out there? They borrowed my equipment. All I need you to do is to get it back for me. <laughs> Simple. Oh, that's all you want me to do. Uh, and how exactly do you want me to do that? There's a lava pit out there. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it just so happens that we scientists here have needed to go onto the lava also. We therefore develop these devices that you can use too. Here, let me turn it on for you. There. Now all you have to do is pass through this gateway and you will be able to walk onto the lava without being hurt. However, Spyro, the invulnerability that you have to the lava won't last long. But you can come back and recharge if necessary. Cool! Now it's time to go kick some Riptock butt! Good luck to you! Hmm... 
It seems as though there are still more pieces to collect, Spyro. Please get them all for me. Great job, Spyro! <laughs> you found them all! Here, I found this dragonfly under some broken equipment I found in my lab. You can have it! Hey, it's Jason! Great! <laughs> now all I have to do is remember where I had everything. Hey, Spyro! That bad old thief over there stole something from me! Can you believe that? He stole a biomolecular hologram projector from me! And if you would kindly retrieve it, I will reward you graciously! Did you get him yet? Ooh, he's a wily one! So you might want to try charging after him! <laughs> Great job, Spyro! I knew you could do it! Here, take this! It's a dragonfly I found in the jungle! Hey, it's Bonky! Thanks again, Spyro! Now I can get back to my experiments! Spyro, you made it! Great job! Uh, it was no sweat. As a reward for your heroic efforts, and in the name of good science, please accept this as a reward. Hey, it's Wonky! The jungle is free to roam once again! Thanks to you, Spyro! Hey, it's Scarlet! Hey, it's Karen! Hey, it's Jean-Marc! Hey, it's Doompa! Hey, it's Mitch! My calculations indicate that this volcano is about to explode. Slide down to the bottom before it's too late and don't worry about me. Save yourself. Slide down the volcano? You almost made it, Spyro. Try sliding a little faster next time. You made it just in time, Spyro. Here, I found a dragonfly on my way down. Hey, it's Saji. It seems as if the volcano has stabilized. Wanna try sliding down it again? Slide down the volcano again? Okay, come back anytime. Welcome to the Tower of Scary and Ridiculous Heights. <laughs> if you can climb to the top of the tower, you will prove yourself worthy of the tower's secret treasure. Why a tower exists in the middle of the jungle is a secret hidden away ages ago. Do you dare climb that Tower of Hell? <laughs> That's the spirit, Spyro. Watch out for falling rocks and blow dart traps. Uh, there are some mean-looking spiders up there, too. Uh, just avoid everything and get to the top. Giving up already? Did the giant spider scare you too much? Or was it the giant falling rocks? <laughs> Say, I suppose I could let you try again. Give it another shot. That was terrific, Spyro. I've never seen anyone get up here before. Really? Then how did you get up here? Oh, that. Well, there's a hidden elevator that only I know how to find. But anyway, uh, you'll have to keep it a secret. But there's not really any treasure up here. I never actually thought that anyone could get to the top. What? So I did all that for nothing? Well, I guess I should give you something. It's not much, but I found this dragonfly hiding in my secret elevator. Here, you can have it. Hey, it's Warren. I don't have any more dragonflies to give you, but you can try climbing to the top again if you want. You know, uh, just for fun. You do know what fun is, don't you, Spyro? Okay. This tower has been here for years, and it will be here when you decide to try again. Oh, if there's anything I hate more than a dragon, it's a purple dragon. You've caused me enough problems, Spyro. This time I'll take care of you permanently. Hocus Pocus. Ah, defeated again. I'll be back, and you'll be sorry. You'll be very, very sorry. The magic of dragons can't last forever, can it? You're back again? How is this possible? I will take care of you permanently. Oh, wait a minute, I said that last time. I wouldn't want to sound like a video game cliche. Let me try that again. This time, I will take care of you once and for all. <laughs> you purple pest. You may have defeated me this time, but I'll be back, and stronger than ever!